So right ahead. Want, want me to read this? Yes, please. Okay. I'm at a conference. Julie's, this is uh, yesterday's. I'm at a conference. Julie's there as well. She's, I don't know, organizing something there, but we're in the same sessions. I don't know if she's organizing, but she seems to be more on top of it. It might be that I'm organ. I am, and I, I, I'm not sure if that means I am organizing, but um, it says, so I see her at different sessions that they put on, the people at the show. So the end scene, I don't know about what happened before, except that I was going from session to session. So at the end part, someone is standing at the microphone, and I want to say that in going from session to session, one thing that was clear about it was that um, I don't think I was actually studying something until uh, the... Just about to... Okay. Well, I was going to say that there's a, there's a sense that going from session to session, I was more monitoring it than I was attending. And in that sense, I might have been one of the organizers or the organizer of the conference rather than... And that's going to become important in the last three lines, okay? So it says, uh, so at the end, someone is standing at the microphone and everyone's waiting for that person. It happens to be a woman waiting for that person to say something. And she says my name, which is a shock, because I think up to then, there had been only men that were being called out of the session. And so I hear, hear my name and I say, yes. And she seemed to expect something from me. But I say, no, I think it's on you to say something. And it was a woman, kind of Chinese, shortish hair, and I feel very relaxed. I don't feel like I have to do anything because she's doing something outside of the paradigm of the show or of the conference. Mm -hmm. This is one of the dreams I told you was kind of blurry. You want me to read the other one or just stay with this one? What am I going to ask? Oh, well, you might ask me what am I make of it, so to speak, what I think about it. Well, hmm. I don't know. Both of these dreams have this sense of not being, like, my not being responsible for mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. or, uh, or that I don't see myself as. So I'm kind of like at ease, because I I'm not involved. I'm not even participating, though were, even, even though, though I was maybe an organizer or. Maybe, and I was definitely attending the sessions, yeah, yeah, going yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that word? Um, like being in a crystal globe. You know, it's like being in a crystal globe. Like, um, uh, almost like you're, you, nothing can get to you, you. you. Um, so you're seeing but you aren't responding to things, and you aren't uh, maybe taking to, okay. So, so, yeah. You know the expression, a fly on the wall? It's a little bit like being a fly on the wall, in the sense that you're not doing anything. You're, that's still not quite gotten it quite have it. There's no energy in the soul. There's no action in the soul. I seem, I feel very cool. Very cool, I like, um, uh, nothing's bothering me. So, I probably like this state normally. I'm just beginning to look at it with a somewhat askance because of the function. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting set of minds, isn't it? Uh, you, yeah, it is. I think partially I'm usually so irritated at everything. You know, I'm usually like, oh, that's stupid, that person's error. And this is like not there. 
It might even be the opposite side of the coin. You know? I drive somewhere, I'm pissed off at everybody. No, no. I go somewhere, I'm pissed off at everybody. No. Different. It's different. We have to know what it means. Especially this whole thing about this woman is calling my name. I'm being called. I use the word called out. And yet, and, and as if she expects something from me. But I'm like, no, no, you're calling me out. you got to do something. Tell me what the well, grounds that, is. Because you're outside the paradigm. Yeah, yeah. Just go back to that one statement. Hers? Yours. Or mine. I think it's on you to say something. What's that like? Oh, it's interesting. It's like I'm not... I don't, um, it reminds me of something that happened while I was sitting here at the... You were asking me what does it mean whether the one is or one is not. Um, and I couldn't answer you. I, I felt like it was chickening out. But it was definitely, it was like, no, 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 I don't see anything. So, um, and so when she's saying, my, the, what's behind this, I think it's on you to say something, is you need to tell me what, what, <laughs> what you want me to respond to, kind of. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to, like she's just saying, speak. And I'm saying, oh no, you got to give me more than that. i got to talk within a framework. And sh somehow, i got to have more, i got to have something from you that tells me what direction you want me to go. It's not that I'm going to do anything bad, but I, f like evil bad, but I feel the, the good possibility of doing something Foolish, maybe. That would be it's avoiding kind of hard. something foolish. I'm avoiding something foolish. It's it's a very interesting, weird thing. See, because it when you ask about the what what is one of what is one is not, it was like I was standing on the edge of a cliff. Uh huh. And, yeah, so a lot of danger, but I can just stand on the cliff. Nobody knows that they, I could step off. Yeah. She doesn't, and I don't want to step off. But I'm not, it's not a state of fear, because I'm not vulnerable, because she can't see me. Mm. I think, something like that, it's hard to really talk about what's involved there. Um, I, like I said, I don't feel connected. I don't feel revealed. And um, if I say anything, then I'm revealing myself. And, that, and if I do that, it's possible that I... Well, I look like a fool, look stupid. Yeah. Look, it, or you know, look. Um, I usually I used to talk about this. I use it a lot. A war criminal, mm -hmm. somebody who was doing something so heinous, so morally reprehensible, so evil, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's like I could say something and everybody would go, "Oh my God, it, it's Himmler." Is Himmler one of those? War criminal killers of many people. Yeah. It's playing, playing out a, <clears throat> a particular role in your life. Mm. Yeah. Keeps me kind of stupid looking. What, what, what? It keeps me kind of stupid looking. Yeah. Because nobody can. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, more. Um, well, or uh, I once had a friend who said, you have got to emerge from the egg at some point. <laughs> and I didn't really completely understand that. But see here, I often I feel like I am looking stupid, but looking stupid is better than 
mm-hmm. looking mm-hmm. awful. Yeah. In my own mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where does that go? Hmm. Well, one of the places I remember is when I was in fifth grade, my teacher wanted to, I was in a session with my mother and the teacher, and they wanted me to skip a grade, go from fifth to seventh grade. And her grounds for doing that was that I didn't, I wasn't involved with people at recess. So therefore she thought I was bored, and therefore I should go to seventh grade, because I would be engaged in seventh grade. Well, I had the feeling that she didn't know that I wasn't engaged because I didn't have any friends. It wasn't that I was bored. It was that I didn't have any friends. So I didn't think she saw me very well. But I didn't really care. I thought, sixth grade, seventh grade, who cares? So I just sat there stupidly and didn't say anything. I didn't know about this exactly, but there's something that she was looking at me not playing these games, and and at the time I was wearing a truly absurd clothes that my mother had bought me that were just totally ugly and set me apart from everybody in the school, and so you know they and we moved every two years, so these people didn't also didn't know me, mm-hmm. and a lot of the schools all the cliques were already formed and. There was a lot of issues, and she, the lady didn't. The lady was a nice lady, but she didn't see anything. Um, <clears throat> um, how were you doing in school? Oh, I, I had really good grades. It isn't that I was stupid oh, in school. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't study. I could just. Um, what did the teacher say? Say it again. What? She said that um, she thought I should skip a grade, go up to seventh grade, yeah. because um, she had observed that I wasn't in, I wasn't engaged at recess. And and I guess maybe she didn't mention in class, but I I did have really good grades in class. Although. Well, hmm. Uh, there was one scene with her where she couldn't believe I didn't have the answer to a question. And she absolutely reduced me to tears because she thought I was holding back on yeah. her. But I don't recall that I was. I recall that I legitimately didn't have the answer to the question she was yeah. asking. So did you say your mother was present? Yeah. What did she say? Um, she said fine. What does that mean? She didn't see me either. Huh? <laughs> she, she had no idea either what was going on. Well, did you skip a grade? Yeah. What do you think of your mother's response? Well, like I said, I don't think my mother had any idea what was going on with me ever. <laughs> she never talked to me. The only I would I could show her really good grades. I think often I would show her a grades all A's except for one B in yeah. physical education, and her reaction wouldn't have anything to do with the A's. She would say, "What about the B?" Yeah. So. And she would say again and again to all of us, We're, you're, all you kids are average. You're all average. Repeating it yeah. endlessly, endless yeah. amount of times. Yeah. Yeah. But I felt like I was, because I was mute in, in that session, that I looked stupid because I wasn't saying anything. No. no. Uh, what should you uh, say to your mother at that moment? Should, <laughs> hey, Mom, don't you have... You have no clue who I am or my abilities, and shouldn't you have some clue and be able to give some input in this decision? But you've never seen me, you've never talked to me, you have no idea. And therefore, you're not functioning as my mother. Oh. You might as, my. Could she have said something? Could you not pull her in to make comments about the teacher as well? Uh, yeah. The teacher is there as well. Yeah. So what would you say to both of them? Well, both of them. It's like, you you know, don't you think, you should be asking me, why am I not engaged? Just you like should the be, dream. Yeah. Oh, you mean, yeah, they're not asking me. They're not calling on me. Yeah. Quite right. Yeah. They're just making all these 
what seem like pleasant statements, and I feel very sarcastic about the whole thing. I'm sardonic. I feel like you, you guys are laughable. But I didn't say anything. Because they should know. They're not even looking at the right kinds of measures. You know, they don't, they don't, know, what, they don't know what my behavior means. But you said nothing. I said nothing. Therefore, you walk away with what? Uh, their judgment on me. Yeah. But uh, see, that's a very rich experience. Hmm. Uh, you could have asked the teacher whether or not. Go ahead. There, I could have asked her whether there might not be other reasons behind what I was. Yeah. And then she would be forced to put into words. Yes. You saved her. Oh, in that sense, yeah. Yeah. Uh, saved your mother, too. You know, and I will say this, that I felt like my mother, they wanted to, they wanted to have my sister skip a grade at one point, and I kind of, I objected. There were two th reasons they didn't, they didn't skip my younger sister. My younger sister is only 10 months younger than I am, so if she'd skipped a grade, we would have ended up in the same grade. And I really didn't want that to happen. But also, they had said about her that her mathematics was weak. And that was one of the reasons they didn't want to do it. But they ended up not doing it, and I had to have the blame. So here I am. I'm skipping a grade. They tell me to do a certain amount of study over the summer. I don't do it. But from that point on, I always felt like I cheated on the, in those two respects. Because you were silent. Mm, true. I cheated because I was silent. No. Well, in that, yeah, they were not making a decision with all the facts they should have had. No. Exactly. And by the way, that would challenge them both, wouldn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah, I really feel like saying, why are you even here, mother? You know nothing about me. And you, your teacher, you know nothing about me. You ever ask me anything? No. So. But I could have shared, you know, it's just, it is kind of boring to me what's happening, but that's largely because I'm a new student here. Yeah. I don't know anything. Well, it's a very uh, sophisticated teacher-parent conference. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hmm. I don't really know what was going on. Yeah. So what should you expression. have said in the dream? In the dream. Um... I could have said, uh, rather than me speaking spontaneously and extemporaneously, is there anything you, particular you do want me to say? And I mean, you're, are you calling on me for some reason? Like, to conclude, to evaluate? Otherwise, you're going to get what you get. <laughs> you know? It's another, another skipping or grade. Hmm. It's recognition. It's recognition, yeah. It was some kind of recognition, yeah. but I really, it's true, the other time in my life when that happened, I just wanted to make sure it didn't happen. Mm. Yeah. Then you keep... I keep not revealing myself, not stepping yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Time to... Uh, let it go? Let it go. Okay. Give it a <laughs> shot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What do you make of the dream? Well, I think there are a few important points that I don't raise, that I don't uh, bring up, and it's I should bring them up. What else? I think uh, that's that's all I noticed. That mm -hmm. theme, 
That's what. That's the only thing I noticed. But that theme keeps repeating itself. If it repeats itself, how does it vary? Does it progressive going up or down or up and down or <clears throat> terms of meaning? Yeah, it gets really bad towards the end. Life threatening. Yeah. Read the first paragraph. We were listening to Pierre talking and we were in some kind of room with windows. And as he was talking, he made some example about something. I think it was something outside. And then I noticed that there was a really beautiful sun. The sun was surrounded by some clouds and it was positioned in such a way that it was really beautiful. Because the clouds were like creating a kind of frame and the light was accenting different parts of the clouds so that the whole thing looked like it was kind of like a flower with the sun being the center and the clouds around it being like leaves. And I said to Pierre, did you see that out there? He looked and he said, no, I didn't see that. Then he made a comment like, you know where that goes. And then he moved on, hinting that there is a very deep meaning behind that, but he won't go into it now. He kept on continuing the class, making some nice points. Yeah. Uh, you know where that goes? Right. Yeah. What that do to you? Well, it made me uh, guess where it goes, and it also, I started to get some ideas. And it also made me curious about what he means. By that. Go on. Go on, more. I thought it was like um, I thought it was like a, a stepping stone to experiencing uh, ultimate beauty. Like a uh, kind of like a like a finger pointing towards mm -hmm. beauty. What do you make of the fact you didn't say that? What do you make of the fact that you didn't say that? Something about him moving on, um, and it's like, I, it felt like I, the moment was gone or something, but uh, I mean, I still could have said something, but I just didn't. Yeah, but the moment was gone, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? Come I, on. I don't think it's a good. Uh, Come on, what does that mean? Arguments. The moment's gone. Yeah. What does that mean? Therefore. Uh, like I lost my chance or something. What's that to do? I don't like it. It's, uh, mm. What does it do to me? Uh, it makes me regret. And uh, just kind of leaves me hanging. No. It's painful. Okay, take a look at that description in the first paragraph. All right? 
at the end? No. You concluded that the whole thing looked like it was a kind of a flower. Oh yeah. Yeah. What was like? What was that like coming to that conclusion? Uh, it was just gorgeous. More. It was like it was really tender and like fluffy. More. And elegant and shining. More. But dull. No. What? It was like full of warmth. Full of vitality. It was just full of life. Vitality, yeah. <coughs> Yeah, what did it, uh, what did it do to you? Come on, all those together. It really, like, it really touched me. It was really beautiful. A little bit. No, a lot of bit. Come on, what, in what way? Come on. It was like, it's like if I kept looking at it, I might start crying. That's how beautiful it was. It was just perfect. It was really perfect. <laughs> what, did you see what's going on or not? It's, uh, it's a very beautiful experience. What did you do with that beautiful experience? What state of mind came in? There it is. The moment's gone. I lost my chance. That's a different state of mind, isn't it? Yeah. It's totally That's different. after. What yeah. is that curious state of mind? It looks like it wipes out this. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Mm -hmm. well, it's like I wanted to stay there, but then when uh, the Pierre and the dream moved on, it was just it was just cut off. It was just like that's the end of it. Like. Therefore, what do you think of your judgment to leave that and follow this guy, Pierre? It wasn't, um, it wasn't good. No. I mean, I think if I had brought it up to him, he probably would have, I mean, we could have talked about it. Well, he did ask you. It's good, you know where that goes. Uh, well, it was more of a statement, but yeah. But yeah. yeah. There was, there was a chance for watch me Watch this now. This state of mind came in as we talked to it done? Yeah. That's your reaction to that reading. But it doesn't match your description of the event. What, what did you say? That's my reaction to what? Well, is it... Let me ask you, is it true that the moment is gone? You lost your chance? No. Thank you. It's not true. This is a state of mind. This oh, is... shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is it doing? It's, I mean, it's, it's a lie, first yeah, of all. It's a lie. And it's... Um... And then we have to pull all of this out of you, don't we? That gets cut off. No, yeah. cut it off. I 
I never thought of it as a state of mind before. That's well, is it? Watch. Okay. As I repeat it, what does it do? The moment's gone. I lost my chance. Don't like it. It's regret. Yeah. It's like it leaves me hanging. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Right, right, right. Here it is, both, right? It's a very stale kind of <laughs> state of mind. You know where this goes. Come on. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, I have very many recent examples, but mm. try to go further back. Mm. Uh, what I what I think of is when my when. Uh, my dad would promise me that we would do something and then he he wouldn't he wouldn't um, come through and then I would be in that state of mind. No. You play about yourself. You lost your chance. Or did he lose your chance? Yeah, I blamed it on myself. What what? I blamed it on myself. What should you have told the guy? Um, well, it leaves you hanging. You don't like it. It's regret. Look what it does to you. What do you want to tell him? I'll tell him, like, why do you keep setting me up for these regretful scenes all the time? Build up my hopes? Yeah, yeah, like, first you build up my hopes, and then I'm excited to, you know, to yeah. get some ice cream with you, and then we don't, then, yeah. then you don't show up, or you yeah. just fall asleep. Or, yeah. So what do you want to tell him? that you're ending up blaming yourself. That's right. That's what kids do. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Blame myself. So, you do know where that goes, don't you? Uh, where what goes? That? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now <laughs> follow this one, okay? Okay. The mind saw a different being than itself. Please. Oh, I'll read it again. The mind saw a different being than itself. The other being looked like an insect. At first impression, it reminded me of a praying mantis. Or it reminded of a praying mantis. Uh, mine responded, uh, I would be taken aback at first, but I would love to communicate with you. The state of mind was uh, unity, acceptance, and understanding. And the reason for being taken aback is because society tells us what is, uh, what is true or what they say is true. And uh, the, the insect was just the head. And um, I wrote trying to get different difference in re uh, realities.
Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, what do you make of it? Um. Go ahead. Well. The state of mind is unity, acceptance, <coughs> understanding. It, what I, the way I took it was that uh, something was um, trying to communicate with me and was basically... It was communicating to you. To me, yes. Yeah. And it, it, it wasn't speaking, it was doing it telepathically. Right, right. And I was doing it back telepathically. Yeah. And... Um, and it was meaningful. It was very meaningful and beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's something that uh, would frighten most. I wasn't in that state. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, what's that state like? Unity, acceptance. Oh, it's the best. Huh? It's the best. Yeah. Is that interesting? Yeah. Was that at night you had that, like a dream? It was, um, it was like in the, uh, right before I woke up, maybe an hour before I woke up. Mm-hmm. See, that's a victory. Huh? That's a what? Victory. Yeah. It's, it's a victory. Victory. A victory. You, ah. Your mind is telling you you've got a victory that you don't know about. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And it wants you to know, hey, Hey, keep, be aware of this. It's good. Yeah. Lovely dream. Lovely dream. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, tomorrow. Okay, guys. That's a beautiful dream.